and you're thrashing away getting the nitrous finished up. Thomas is over here getting stuff strapped down. We got big old lights. It's getting pretty serious. It's party time. It's party time, Steve says. No more messing around. No more messing around, that's for sure. This is a bad chicken. So what we did on this car since the last time, we actually went through and did everything. So we now have nitrous on here, because why not? We had these ports. We decided to switch to the radium fuel rails instead of the former. We had radium fuel rails, but we had two sets of rails for our twin injector. So we went to a single rail for the twin injector. So there's actually two injectors per cylinder here and two on each of those. But then we had these bosses that were just up here. So we figured why not just shove nitrous jets in there. So we have a dry shot of nitrous, um, have it on about a 50 shot currently. If we decide to spray, uh, we obviously can jet that up if we decide we want bigger. Nitrous does weird things on turbo cars. So it's not usually, like usually a 50 shot actually gets you a little more than that. So, and we got solenoids and it's just kind of scumbagged in for now because we're just trying to get it on the dyno. Uh, we upgraded the EMAP sensor, um, upgraded the actual map sensor on the car as well. So now we're on a, a 85 PSI is where we can go with the car if we decide to. And will the turbo make that much? I don't know. We don't know how much boost we're gonna do. We're basically just gonna send it and see what it does. Um, but it has the sensors now to at least read that. Um, we switched to a little bit larger charge piping, two blow off valves, because two is better than one. Um, larger charge pipe there as well. Uh, other than that, the car is pretty similar to the last time. Oh, we extended the fuel tank a little bit. Um, we were figuring that it's just not enough fuel to make a pass the way that we had it. So now we have more fuel. And with more fuel, we have a bigger fuel pump because we're actually running bigger injectors than we were before. Um, so we have bigger injectors, bigger fuel pump, bigger fuel tank. Um, yeah, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Just everything. Just everything. The car is exactly the same as it was, except everything that we changed. So just getting the, just getting the mapping dialed in for some fun nitrous control stuff. Um, you know, just kind of a, a generic dry strategy. It's gonna add some fuel as our duty cycle comes up and it's progressively controlled. And um, right now I, I have the window, basically I was just, just kind of messing with this, but effectively it's just gonna progressive in and then send it out the top, or we can progressive the other way if we just wanna use it for launch. Anyway, it's fun to have. Um, no, nobody ever complained about partying with nitrous. Um, we don't really want to get into the wiring inside the car. It's pretty haggard at the moment just because we're just because we're thrashing. Steve says keep the wiring off the camera. It's not pretty. It's not great, but it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Exactly. And that's what matters. Um, it's not the prettiest in the world, but there's a lot going on, so it's what it is.
Let's put that pizza in the fridge though, huh? That way we can have some pizza. lunch tomorrow or breakfast or something. Yeah. Yeah. I know how much you love countertop pizza. I love it. Jason's like, Jason like I just can't eat it anymore, but man, I love it. It is a beautiful day in March. Who knew a week ago it was like snowing and stuff. So we're back. We fixed a couple of things. We got a new fuel pressure sensor that'll read to 300 PSI because the one that read to 150 PSI, we were top lining. Party on. Uh, yeah, this new pump is moving some fuel. Um, everything's looking pretty good. Looking good and tight. We saw some pretty high boost numbers last time, but we were having some issues with the dyno. So we went down in here and regapped. There's a little sensor down in the hole and basically there's a reluctor wheel that runs in between a little gap and it has an optical sensor that crosses the gap. And on this roller and on the front roller, there was dust on the front roller on the little teeth. So it was just getting bad data. And then on this roller, it was a little bit offset. So we got that all dialed out. Um, I've ran some cars on the dyno since then and they've all been good. So hopefully it will just work today and we'll get good numbers. those numbers max power 1403 38 torque 930.16 
This is uncorrected real numbers. There's no correction factors being applied. This is what the car actually made on the rollers today. Not like altitude corrected or any of that crap corrected for cold weather. No one's tricking any sensors. This is what this car just made. So 1,403 horsepower on a steel rod, four cylinder EJ motor. Not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with it. I kind of wish I had revved out a little further. It was still climbing, but stuff is so violent inside the car and just trying not to overly abuse it, even though, you know, that's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with it. So um, we're gonna we're gonna keep digging into the data and see what we can improve and try to see if we can get another 50 to 100 horse out of it, which I'm sure it has in it. Um, it's just gonna be a matter of more time. So uh, thanks for watching guys. And I hope you enjoy those crazy loud noises that you just heard of Subaru Fury.